All right, all right, all right, let's do it. This is the weekend edition here with Grok Trade. My name's D7. Let's get after it. It's the weekend edition. Good through Sunday, December 17th, 2017. And the markets in the week bullish. The big thing I want to show here is NASDAQ up more than 1%. That is huge. Russell's up 1.4%, a huge move on small caps, a huge move on NASDAQ. Financials in bullish territory, U.S. dollar fractionally higher, crude oil fractionally higher. Same for gold, silver up 0.87% on Friday. VIX dropping a staggering 10%. Fear dropping 10%, closing out the week. And Bitcoin at this moment, at, at this very second, down, but up quite a bit. We were up at 18, I think, today. We'll look at that. We'll look at that, all right? So let's get into the market. Guys, Keisha, my assistant, said you've got to quit talking about it and doing it. I've, I, I've done it. My trend line course, it's ready. If you want to join us, all you do is go to grokatrade.com. Once you go there, you're going to come to Grok Trade. When you get to this page, just scroll down a little bit. You have two. You have the chart school, and then I'm doing one on Bitcoin for beginners. If you're interested in cryptocurrency, if you're interested in trend lines, here are the two courses. Go there, click on it, get registered. Love to have you. All right. Back to the charts. This is the S&P 500, the S&P 500 ETF called the Spider, SPY. We're up, 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 up. Now, you, if you guys are new here and you're just watching me for the first time because someone shared the video or you're just coming across it, you're gonna see a lot of trend lines. I've been, doing, I've been trading almost 20 years in the markets utilizing technical analysis and I have learned to value trend lines big time. I'm finding the institutions use them. I was an institutional trader. Trend lines are very, very important. So you're gonna see a lot of trend lines because that helps us find patterns. The more patterns you find, the more trades you make, the more trades you make, the more money you make. Okay, that's what we're dealing with. But you also see these arrows. The arrows are my buy and sell. Buy and sell calls, okay? So on the spider, I got a buy back here, September, 11th and we've, we're going higher but i we're really close to putting a sell on this we had this rising wedge now we did break down a bit here at resistance but we pop back this is a this is a really dangerous area here a lot of upside resistance we're going to look at the weekly charts and stuff but right now daily charts but and we're going to look at chart uh, charts 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 we got a lot to share with you here. that's why i'm moving quickly diamonds up 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 Diamonds here, let me see if that still makes sense. Still makes sense. As we had that going, we popped up and we came right back down. So this could be a jab. That could be trouble city here for the diamonds. We could be seeing a top being put in. Let's see what the NASDAQ showing us. NASDAQ up, 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 we got a buy on it and we're closing in on a resistance. Russell's 2000, I got a buy on it, but we're down here a bit. I'm really watching this area right here, 150 up to 150, 3.65. That's kind of a consolidation area, but we have a big rising wedge with these two trend lines. Very important that you get those lines right. But on the, I mean, we're still heading higher. It could be a bull flag. It could rally, but it has to break out over this upper blue line for it to really get bullish. Let's go to the financials. Uh, financials, we put a sell on it last Wednesday and we're drop, 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 drop. But the question is, is this just a little pullback and are we going to rally? We could, but I think that I'm glad I had the buy here and I, I'm glad I got the sell there because I think that we could be topping out here. Uh, here's the US dollar, put a sell on it, but immediately had to put a buy on it. We're in this big symmetrical triangle. Anything can happen on the US dollar. It's, it is right now coiling, it's condensing, it is a pinching pattern taking place. Look for a big, big move on the US dollar. Crude oil, I put a buy on it. 
yesterday we popped up here that I had a sell and now a buy. It's trying to make up its mind, but you see the moving averages? It's just caught up in the moving averages. It really doesn't know what it wants to do. Gold, put a buy on it the other day, Wednesday. We're going higher, but we have upside resistance. This could be a sell really soon. Silver, up, 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 and we're, we're sniffing this area of resistance. This could be a sell very, very soon. And VIX though, the VIX, I have a sell on it and then I put a buy on it and it's down. I'm gonna keep a buy on it because we're still at a support level, okay? Normally I'd put a sell there, but we have so much support here. I'm gonna keep with my buy on fear. But Bitcoin, guys, I'm getting into cryptocurrency big time. And so much so, I have put together a course. Not for you guys has been trading it forever, okay? This is an ABC course for beginners. One, two, three, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, the easy way to get started in cryptocurrency to start investing in it. That's what the course is all about. But anyway, we had some buys and calls on Bitcoin. You can see the buys and calls here on Bitcoin. I had my first buy back here August 22nd. Up, 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 then a sell, and then a buy. And then a buy, sell, buy, and I mean, just huge, huge money here. A sell, and then a buy, 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 buy. We're just buy city, buy city. We got up near 18,000 on the Bitcoin. The BTC USD is a great, BTC USD is a great indicator to watch. It gives you a good average of what's happening out there on the major uh, exchanges when it comes to Bitcoin. So this is a good one to watch. The other one I like to watch is GBTC. Gives you exposure. If you just want exposure to Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies and you don't want to you don't want to own cryptocurrency, but you want to own the stock that's based off the US dollar, you can do that too. And you can go to GB, so um, Gold Boy Tom Charlie, okay? It's GBTC. You can kind of see here, GBTC. And here are my buys and calls on GBTC. And it's just up, 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 up to the moon. What we're going to look at now, guys, are the weekly charts because this is the weekend edition. Because it's the weekend edition, we like to look at the weekly charts. Here's the weekly charts. I got a buy on this going way back here. And boom, we stay bullish on the spiders. The S&P 500 remains really strong. If you look here at the diamonds, have a buy on it. Really strong. NASDAQ, boom. Really strong. These are all weekly charts. Russell's 2000. Got a buy on it. Up, up, up. A little pullback. Pop up. It's staying above all major moving averages. Really strong. Financials. We're up, up, up. It's moving sideways. Relatively weaker than everything else that we're seeing. U.S. dollar. Have a sell on it last week. I did not put a buy on it. Did not put a buy on it, and here's why. Because Mark did my weekend edition, and I didn't get it. I'm gonna stay with myself, I've, I'm committed to it. Crude oil, put up, this one has burnt me. Oh, I put a sell on it, it's up, up, up. And, oh, I'm, this one's one of the trades that got away from me. Okay, gold, have a buy on it, popped up. And then last week, again, last week, I did not, that would have been a sell. I'm gonna have to stay with this. I didn't get my weeklies updated um, be, uh, last week. Anyway, I'm gonna stay with myself because we're at this resistance line on silver, so gold and silver. But I'll tell you, this could be a buy. Hold on a second. Let me look at something. Okay, so I'm good with that. Good with that. Okay, I'm good with that. So it broke down. That is a big time sell, guys. Ugh. Okay. I should have had them updated, and I didn't. Should not have, should have had them updated. Anyway, okay. Silver, same thing, down, down, down. Uh 
but it broke the trend line now it smashes the trend line it's caught right there on it and i'll stay with that vix i've got a buy on this and it's come down again last week ah the weekly charts killing me killing me okay and then we have our buy on bitcoin down here on october 2017 up, 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 up. that's an exponential move to the upside Things that go up fast tend to drop fast, but let's see what happens here. Very interesting to see what happens there. GBTC, got a buy on it. Boom! Had a really good week. Really good week. We're halfway through the month. I'm going to show you something on the spider. This is the monthly chart. We're halfway through, so this is still an, an active moving dynamic chart or chart pattern. The last two prints, last month and this month, hit this major trend line acting as resistance we could be ready to sell off in the markets this is a monthly chart okay keep that in mind it looks really toppy for the month look how far we have gone let me pull in some perspective you can kind of see that we go up, pull back, up, pull back, up, pull back, up, 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 big pull back, a pop, pull back, up, 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 pull back, up, 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 resistance. I mean, with a hanging man right now, the monthly just looks like we are ready to top out. Now it could build a base, it could do a number of things, but this is the time to be. On, if you're a long-term investor, this is profit-taking area right here, gang. <laughs> Let's look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is one I put the sell on. It got away from me. It reversed. Do you remember that? That's another one that got away from me. So I'm stuck in this one. This one's going higher, higher, higher. And... I should have reversed it. She said, oh, let's go ahead and put a buy back on this. I didn't do it. And, and I'm paying the price for that. Small caps, I, I learned my lesson. This one had a sell, put, immediately put a buy on it for the monthly, going higher. Financials monthly, boom, higher and much higher. But very extended, it's looking to pull back soon, I believe on a monthly chart. Crude oil monthly, Got a buy on it, starting to go higher, but it's just beat way down. Gold, got a buy on it, but it's starting to get beat down here. You can see it. And if it stays bearish, I'm gonna have to put a, a bear, oh boy, I gotta extend this out. I'm gonna have to put a bear call on it. But look how we went down, touched that trend line, came right back up. It's not by accident. These trend lines are spot on. You need to know how to draw them. There is a skill and a science to drawing these correctly. That's what that will do for you. Um, let's quickly look at some stocks of interest on the Dow 30. If you go here, Friday, we had, uh, we always have to look at Apple. Let's go to Apple Daily. In Apple Daily, I put a buy on it. It's a bull flag. We broke resistance. This thing can get bullish and quickly. Apple is ready to rock and roll, okay? This thing could go. Watch for that to happen. AXP was up 1.4%. I put a sell on it. Do I want to put a buy on it now? Put a sell on it. Da, 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 da. On huge volume, too. Look at that print. Yeah, I think I'm going to reverse it. I think I'm going to say it didn't sell off. Now it reversed on huge volume. I'm good with that call. Got a buy on Boeing, going higher. Caterpillar, have a buy way back here, and this thing just keeps paying. Very, very good. Cisco, I don't need to go through them all. Um, let's see, which ones that we want to look at. GE is up 1%. We got a sell on that, and I'm going to stay on that sell until it pops, but it looks like it's going to pop soon. Whoa. Hold on. I might put a buy on that. GE... E, I'm going to put a buy on that right now. GE is a buy. Um, Goldman Sachs, we got up, up, up. Whoa. Intel up 3%. Oh, and I already put a buy on that one. Boom. 
Zuma to the upside, looking good. JP Morgan up 1.4%. Put a sell on it. Oh boy, this is another one. It's re it had some real turbulent couple of days, but I'm gonna do that. Um, anything else jumping out at me? Whoa, Microsoft up 2.5%. Put a buy on it today. There's Microsoft's buy. Um, Nike. This one I put a buy way back here. It's like making so much money. But it looks toppy, like we're going to drop. PFE, 2% pop. Put a buy on that a, earlier this week, and then boom, that dude's moving. Um, TRV, Travelers, up 1.7%. Put a buy on that today. Today. UTX was up 1.95%. Having a buy back here in the end of November. And look where it just went. Boom, to the upside. And let's ha take a quick look at tech stocks. Let's go to Grok, not gun, hold on. Grok tech stocks. Go there, look at those of interest. eBay up 2%. I got a buy on that. I did that back in December, first part of December, and then boom, to the upside. Um, Let's see, 1.4, Google is up. I got a buy on that. Oh, and it broke a trend line. Look at this. Up, 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 and broke a trend line. So G-O-O-G, -O -O -G, looking really good. G-O-O-G-L, I got a buy on it, still looking good. GoPro up 2.25%. I put a buy on it. I'm going to stay with my buy. We're at support, and it's popping up. Very, very good. Microsoft, we uh, already looked at that one. NVIDIA up 2.7%. I put a buy on that today. Had a sell on it, down, 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 down. Now NVIDIA is a buy. Let's see what happens with it. Oracle down 3.7%. Earnings, put a sell on it. Had to had a buy in earnings. You never hold over earnings, ever. So that was an earnings play there. Um, PayPal up 1.9%. I had a buy on that several days ago, December 6th, and it is doing really, really well. Red Hat got up 2%, had a buy on that back here, December 7th, and boom, much higher. Snap down, whoa. Up, 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 snap down. Remember that red dot I was talking? It's like, what is that? That's my 200-day moving average coming into play. That's what that was. Now it's growing a bit here. Um, I'm good with my, uh, my buy on Snap. Twitter, I got a buy on it. But look at this. Look at this. Twitter has all sorts of resistance up above it. These lines are perfectly drawn. And look at this, follow me here. I'm gonna blow this up so we can see it. Twitter, we're up, up, up. Look how it. we went higher, higher, higher. We came down and closed right at a trend line. It wasn't by accident it's because the trend line was right where it needed to be. Look at this one, today, Friday. Went up, 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 touch that trend line Sellers came in there, but at first it opened at a trend line. Then it went up, challenged a second trend line, then came down and closed. These trend lines are perfect. You need to know how to draw these. We In our mentorship program, it's a three-day mentorship, we teach this. But I'm going to teach this by itself. If you want to learn trend line drawing from me, somebody who's been doing it for almost two decades, live in the markets and teaching this for over 12 years, I can help you out. All you have to do is go to Grok Trade. When you go to Grok Trade, just scroll down a little bit and you're going to see how to master drawing trend lines. And so you can get in that course and it'll help you. You will have everything you need to know how to draw trend lines, to find those patterns, to make money in the markets. And if you are new to cryptocurrency, you don't know much about it, but you know you want to get into it because all you're hearing is Bitcoin, but you want to get into it in a savvy, intelligent, educated manner, I've put together a program to show you exactly what all this is and how to get into cryptocurrency investing and trading. I'm going to be throwing a lot of great information to you that you will find very helpful. So when you're talking to your friends and pals, you'll be able to talk with a highly educated in a highly educated uh, manner. Okay, you'll be, you'll be able to do it quite well. 
that will give you options on how and what to trade in and you're going to get my opinions on my research and my contacts because now that I've been doing submersing myself or immersing myself in uh, education on the cryptocurrency for the past month I've stranded myself with some gurus in this market and they have really brought me up to speed on the ins and outs of this so everything I've learned I'm going to be sharing with you so if that's something you want to get into do this and um, yeah it, it's the one two threes ABC's of Bitcoin so really two exciting courses that we're doing right now so Hope those will be of interest to you. Anyway, it's a pleasure. Merry Christmas to you guys. I love serving you. I love having the chance to impart my wisdom into you and your education and however you can use that. That said, I'm going to get out of here. Have a great rest of the weekend. Merry Christmas to you guys. And looking forward to seeing those of you who want to participate in those upcoming courses. Look forward to hanging out with you coming up here shortly. Take care. We'll see you. Bye.